It's my great honor to welcome you, sir, the Prime Minister of India, Sri Narendra Modi ji, to News 9 Global Summit. <laughs> the theme that we have chosen for this year's summit is India poised for the next big leap. And it is our great privilege that the man who has led 1.4 billion people to a point where we are gearing up for the next big leap is present amongst us to share his vision of a Viksit Bharat. <laughs> Modi ji, you are not only the architect of a new India, but also someone who wishes to lay the foundation for the next 1,000 years. <laughs> we live in an era where in democracies, the longevity of a leader is often not even a full term. And here, you have a leader whose vision spreads well beyond a decade to a millennium. Scottish historian and philosopher Thomas Carlyle once said, and I quote, the history of the world is but the biography of great men. There is absolutely no doubt that the profound changes Modi ji has brought about have forever rewritten India's destiny. Sir, I would like to share my three Modi mantras with you. The first, is return on governance, the second is Modi multiplier, and the third is CDR. No, I'm not talking about corporate debt restructuring, but citizen DNA reset. Sir, let, <laughs> sir, let me allow me to explain these three mantras in short, starting with return on governance. Prime Minister, sir, when you came to power in 2014, the people of India gave a clear mandate to your brand of governance. You have made good governance a way of being, not just for yourself, sir, but for everyone else in our sphere. The trust the people of India has in your brand of governance, that has only been growing ever since. That brings me to the second mantra, which I call the Modi multiplier. With Modi ji, every idea, every concept that he champions, there is a multiplier effect. There are innumerable development schemes that prove my point. For instance, for farmer alone, over 25 schemes have been launched, covering every aspect of their lives. It would take me the whole evening just to name them all. The point to note is that the Modi multiplier is about designing policies in a manner where each policy compounds the effect of the others, where benefits are always focused on the very bottom of the pyramid, specifically for farmers, women, youth, and the poor, the forecast, as you call them, sir. Now the third and possibly the most important mantra that you have gifted us, sir, that is CDR, Citizen DNA Reset. The Citizen DNA Reset is evident in every Indian like me who has gone from can we to we can to now we will in just a matter of 10 years. Our DNA has been reset to take the next big leap, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, these are the three. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, these are the three Modi mantras that come to my mind. I'm sure each one of you has your own list. However, as we all know, the Modi phenomenon exceeds all mantras. 240 million people have been pulled out of poverty, yet the country didn't go bankrupt. An economy written off as being fragile is today amongst the top five, soon to be top three. We have landed a rover on the moon, developed a COVID vaccine not just for ourselves, but for the world. No wonder parliamentarians around the world are envious 
of Mr. Modi's popularity. Nowadays, whenever I travel abroad, the conversation starter is you, sir. People abroad want to know about you as a leader and what makes you so popular with us Indians. Most of them find it mystifying that a political leader could be so popular at a time of growing skepticism. Under the Prime Minister's leadership, India is assertive without being aggressive. Your message to the world, sir, is loud and clear that the new India is neither aligned nor non-aligned. At the same time, you have emerged as a global peace champion with your clear message that this is not an era of war. What's more, Prime Minister, sir, under your leadership, India is lending its voice to the vast global poor who have historically been marginalized. You have shown, sir, that progress and development need not be a zero-sum game, that it can be a win-win for all. That is the sort of global statesman that the world badly needs today. Modiji, India is fortunate to have you at the helm. With that... <laughs>